Hey folks, and welcome to The Future of Photography. Well, we couldn't all get together this week because we've all been travelling. I don't think any single one of us was at home during our normal recording time. So instead, what we've got for you this week is a selection of vlogs. Something that I'm not sure that any of us have done before particularly, or at least maybe not for a while. Certainly it was my first time and a strange first time it was too, but enjoyable. Anyway, so I shall uh, get out of here and we'll fade to black and then we come back. We'll come back with with some TFOP vlogs. Enjoy. Hey, I'm in an old vineyard, which you can see here with old vines and some younger vines. And uh, this is Trier. This is the oldest German city, which uh, has been built by the Romans about 2000 years ago. And uh, it's full of history, full of old buildings. We just were in an amphitheater we've seen old remains of uh, what the romans built and uh we're taking a walk here it's a family weekend um we're celebrating uh, a couple of things and uh it is foggy as you can see the whole place is full of fog you can just see the trees back there um and uh for photography i've brought this the iphone and uh it's uh it's an old, uh, old iPhone 11. It's a, it's um. Oh wait, car coming. It's an. It's probably a winemaker. Um, it's an iPhone 11, so it's not old, but uh, still does the job nicely. And I'm playing with some filter apps. My favorite being Argentum, uh, using the Ansel Adams filter which crunches up some of the contrasts into a nice black and white. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing over the weekend. Um, still getting some awesome photos. I'm really happy with well, three or four pictures that I've taken here. Um, I might show a few here uh, on the screen. So there we go, photography with the iPhone on a family gathering with uh, fog in the air. It's been foggy every morning. And I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, a nice walk and lots of things to learn. So there we go. Bye bye. Hey, so here I am. I thought I would do a vlog for the first time ever for TFOP. Forever, actually. And uh, I figured I'd try some of the new cinematic stuff so you can see my background is blurred and uh, I figured why not come to somewhere where they actually I think make movies occasionally so if you can see the ears on a water tower in the background of my shot here then you know exactly where I am see on the inside Uh, here I am outside the Ratatouille Theatre. Let's get some technical stuff out of the way. I am shooting this on an iPhone 13 mini with no extra additional things at all. No microphones, no lights, no nothing. I'm just even holding it in my hand. Um, as I shoot it, it's in, like really, really blurred out in the background, but I'll try and do some stuff in post to try and see if I can change that and make it a little bit easier to see. So here we are for a quiet moment in the queue uh, for the Ratter to be right still and um, uh, I'm wondering whether I'm going to need to go black and white on this floppy and stuff because looking at the screen as I record it, the skin tones look horrible but we'll see how it goes. There we go. Anyway, nice calming music, plenty of queuing to do, so plenty of time to do my vlog, which is nice.
A sitting like this is fun, I think. Vlogging, I've never done it before, um, and certainly it's dead easy to do. Uh, waiting to see what happens when I get home on the computer to see whether it's come out any good or not. Uh, let's see what our wonderful cinematic views can do for us. There we go, look. You can, see, can you see Mickey in the background? Can I make that happen? I can't see it right now. Well, let's see what goes on. There were any number of reasons that I could have used to talk myself out of taking a weekend away from it all, like everybody else, and sometimes I do find it hard to switch off. So boy was I delighted to hop in a car with a couple of friends and make my way to the very northwest coast of Ireland. A weekend of waves, wind, lots of wind. I soon decided that biting against the wind with my little microphone wasn't a very good idea. So I decided to do the voiceover in post. I know that's cheating and this makes this not really a vlog, but I've interspersed some video clips, some fairly wobbly in fairness, so please forgive, and some of the photos that I took over the last few days. Everything is done through my iPhone 11 Pro which served me very well until we were in the middle of a visit to Beltany Stone Circle, which is absolutely magnificent. And my phone decided that it had had enough and promptly died about 10 seconds into my first video clip from that site. So these images you see here and videos are of a place called The Steeple or Mullahagari Tower which is just outside Stranorla in County Donegal. So at the top of the hill in these amazing Mullahagari woods um, sits this tower called the Steeple. But there are many um, pre-Christian sites in the area that are completely enthralling as well. This is a very, very old place and so full of magic. In fact, the rainbows appeared to be following us all weekend. Um, there was just everywhere we turned rainbows. The view from the top of this Mullahagari Tower was quite special also. These gorgeous ancient beech and oak trees surrounding us. I also included some footage from the van as I never get the chance to be a passenger. I'm always the driver and it was such a lot of fun to be able to capture some lovely footage of the fantastic place where I stayed, which is Mahari here. You can see with yet another rainbow to wave us goodbye. This beautiful rocky beach is on a place called Critch Island, which you can access via a land bridge. Critch Island is beaches around every corner and secluded beaches, um, beautiful ancient stony beaches with unspoiled views and clean fresh air and such amazing skies. All in all it was a weekend filled with gallivanting as we say around these parts around the county of Donegal in a van with a really dear old friend of mine visiting some of the most wonderful sites in Donegal. I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a whistle stop trip around with me and this was definitely an experience, um, something I'm not used to. We'll catch you the next episode of TFOP. Thanks for watching. Uh, greetings. Another beautiful day on Chesterman Beach. As you can see behind me, maybe a little blown out. I will post some photos. Um, working close to here, I mean close, four hours from here, in the capital of British Columbia, Canada. 
Victoria, small city, 400,000, kind of matching a kind of Midwestern American city for our show. Um, it's a wonderful little place. I have not ever visited, maybe for one day through there. Uh, I found it fantastic in terms of unexplored locations, things that have not been shot out, as we say, and um, quite a beautiful um, combination of kind of tr what I would consider traditional, maybe English architecture and um, contemporary with a lot of nooks and crannies. And then, you know, took a long weekend here, hopped in the car, and uh, my wife was visiting, so we, we came to one of our favorite places in the country, Chesterman Beach. been listening to The Future of Photography. Subscribe to the show wherever you get your other podcasts. Find the show notes and more information at thefutureofphotography.com.